Hello everyone, my name is Dredden, and today we are going to talk about the motorcycle. Various things about how to use it, and how to make it, where to find the schematics, the parts, all the things. So, let's get crafting. Okay, so, if you have been playing for a while, you may have got a bike. They are one of the earliest things to find in the game, and or, or make, for getting a better mode of transportation, getting a little bit more extra loot to and from various locations. So yeah, I have a little bit of a guide on that one. I also have a guide for the mini bike. Doo -doo -doo. And it is a bit of an upgrade from this one. It's not much faster. It does use a little bit of gas, but it does have more cargo space. So that's nice. Okay, finally then, we come to the motorcycle. Now this thing looks like it's been built custom for the apocalypse. And uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome, to be honest. If we go and press the E button on it, you can see that it has a radial menu. And you can just hit drive like that. Or, of course, you can just hit E to drive and it'll immediately put you on top of it. Um, open. That allows you to see all the various things. There are no modifiers for them yet. Uh, I think they're coming up in Alpha 19. And so, yeah, you're going to be able to refuel it here if you had fuel. There's some fuel and you would just go refuel. You can also repair it from here if, if you had some repair kits. They are about 4 meters per second faster. They are both the same noise and yeah, basically kind of the same for gas and whatnot compared to the mini bike. Other things you can do with it are lock it so that no other player can use it. But you can also put a pin on it so that someone who has the pin could use it. So like an entire clan. Of course you can unlock that. And then this is another way to quickly like refuel it. Is kachink right there. Uh, you can also pick it back up, oddly enough. Lock its little horn. <laughs> and it's got more storage. So four rows that are even longer for storage. So it has 36 storage. Okay, so that's pretty much that. We've got some gas in it and everything else. So we can just press E, get on. So as you can see, you can also steer it with the mouse, or you can press the left mouse button once, and then you can rotate around it and use the A and D key to turn it. Uh, this is probably my favorite mode, is just sort of putting it in the rotate around, so that you can kind of look around to see what you have possible to loot as you drive around town. But it is also nice sometimes to just be able to cruise around with it. It is pretty durable you can end up running into certain things and it won't necessarily destroy them it might take a little bit of damage but it's not too bad running into a tree sometimes you get deflected sometimes you get a little bit more stuck but it's also you know <laughs> got the ability to knock some down though that might have been a false tree because um upgrading this world seems to have brought a bunch of weird trees into it so who knows Alright, and what other things can we do with it? We can press the C key. Let's just go around this bend real quick. Here's a good long road to show this. Put this into this mode. Hitting C can start to give it a bit of a wheelie, just like the mini bike or the other bikes. Holding shift gives a little bit of a speed boost to it. Alright. This is a great POI to get gas for this thing, as there's a... Oh, there you... Right in that little blue door behind there, behind this fence there. It's kind of hard to see below that oil. There is a, uh, a door in there, and there's a bunch of gas inside here, so that's a good one to find. So yeah, as a bit of a small reminder here, you know, if you get this thing stuck in a ditch somehow, yeah, you may be able to drive it out, <laughs> but don't forget that you can also just pick it up. All right, let's take a look at crafting this thing up because it's a great early mid game kind of progression up the whole train of uh, mobility and transporting goods. Over here, I've got my parts for the bike. So we're gonna have to go over how to make all these things except for the lead acid battery and the engine because you just have to find those. Okay, well, let's just take a little bit closer look at these ones here. Over here, you can see that 
you need to go either to Grease Monkey over in Crafting, which is in Intelligence, Grease Monkey, and it's uh, level 3. So it's going to require Intellect level 6 to put together a motorcycle. Or you can use the motorcycle chassis schematic. So this schematic and this schematic, um, lots of these parts are found pretty much in the same kind of areas. Um, once again, they're kind of rare books or books and thus you'll be able to find them in lab equipment and passing gases and in airdrop as well as crack a book yeah and so they also you can find the parts directly pre-made in car parts shipping containers collapsed workbenches a little bit also when certain zombies drop them you may find something there as well as the bosses okay so to make these things uh you need to get mechanical parts duct tape headlight electrical parts and forged steel. So we're all the way up to forged steel on this one. Over here, it is pretty much the same other than leather. So let's just go get a couple of those things. It's pretty easy to get most of them. Let's start by just making some iron. So what is that? 37 and seven. Okay, so steel and iron are made in the forge. If you don't know how to use forge, I've got a little quick guide on how to use forge. And so Steel is a little bit more intense. You're gonna need the crucible, which is a little bit more of a tricky thing to get. It's another little bit of a schematic to find, and yeah, it's a bit of a process. It needs to be built over in the uh, workbench. Anyhow, once you get to this level, you just have to go find forged steel. And I believe that was 44. So yeah, let's just craft that up while we go. And then uh, in seven minutes, it'll be done and we'll come back to it. Now, in the game, you're probably gonna have a mini bike, and for the most of these kinds of things, I've found that uh, breaking down old cars is your main thing you're gonna want. Um, you are probably gonna want to get, uh, well, you're probably gonna wanna have a knife on you of some form, so that you can do some gathering of the leather from animals, as well as bones. So this is what we're doing right there. We're getting bones from that one. All right, so cars at this level here are definitely gonna have a lot more stuff because they are all the way at the top. Sometimes you'll get leather, sometimes you'll get cloth. There's some leather. And uh, yeah, we got the headlight, so that's good for the front end. And uh, more mechanical parts, there's an engine. And some electrical parts, some mechanical parts. So I would say just go find some cars and rip them apart because they are really the almost one-stop shop for this kind of stuff which makes sense i mean if you're building a car or a vehicle like you may as well use previous vehicles to make vehicles right so some more leather um sometimes though you'll need duct tape now duct tape sometimes you'll find if you just search a car but you definitely won't find it if you oh there's a battery perfect if you're gonna disassemble it because they don't got duct tape in them so taking apart two cars has given us just enough mechanical parts for one handlebar. So you're gonna have to take about take apart more. This part here requires 15. Yeah, so, you know, what is that? So far we've done one, two, three cars. So try six or seven cars and we'll see what we get. Another way to get these polymers is also to get them from these tires. They will give you some when you break them down. There you go, four from that one. So there are seven cars taken apart. I now have 45. I'm pretty sure I have everything I need. If not, I've got a couple of stores in the uh, good old garage back there. So here is a pretty good opportunity to get some leather. At this stage in the game, you could have found a compound bow or just a normal bow. And you're most likely at iron or steel arrows. So it's not too bad here, but uh, let's uh, take this guy out. And there we go. So then once you have it like this, don't forget to collect your arrows and then just skin it. Then you get a bunch of extra bones and you get a bunch of the leather you need. But you're probably gonna have to hunt another animal or two or take apart more cars, whatever it is, just to get that done. Um, some of these gore piles you're gonna need because it takes about, well, depending on if you have a chemistry station or not, um, five for a chemistry station, seven bones for a just a normal campfire. And you're gonna need some murky water. So hit up a bunch of houses find murky water in them and uh, make up some 
duct tape. We'll do that too, real quick. And for wheel, you're gonna need a little bit of coal, oil, forged iron, bottles of acid, which can be found under sinks, scrap polymers, which we'll get from probably tires. So odds are pretty good that if you need coal, you can break down embers to get coal, break down trees like that, or find a coal node. So here's a coal node, just hit that a few times, and underneath that it'll also be a coal vein, so you can get a lot more out of it from there. Okay, so now that we're over here, we should have everything made in here. So let's take those guys out. Now, we take our murky water. We, I guess, combine it with that water. And yeah, from here, you can check to see what you can do with glue here. And so, um, yeah, you can make it in here with seven or come over to the chem station here. I've got a tutorial on how to make one of these if you need that. Okay, so you're gonna need 30. So, you know, you're gonna need a lot of both, a lot. I, I don't even have anywhere near enough. And so, hitting up this chem station is gonna help you save a bit of time. But on the other hand too, I mean, if you've been alive this long um, in game, you probably been saving up your bones and you do probably know how to make all the duct tape but you may have also been using it for repair kits which is another very important thing so i can make eight anyways i'll get this sorted out okay so i'm going to start with making some of these wheels now you can find wheels uh, as parts and you know just stockpile all those things because even if after this if you want the four by four you're gonna need four more wheels so you know you gotta save them up. So I have enough for one wheel. I need two wheels, so I'm gonna have to go get more oil. That's fine. I have some more in one of the boxes here. To craft them, it takes about a minute, so I'll just craft that up. Once you have your glue though, too, uh, we'll just while we're waiting for other things to craft, you can craft some of these in your own inventory. So you just have glue and cloth fragments. So these two right here, and you just craft, you know, the 15 plus you need. Okay, so we have our two wheels and I've started to thin this out a little bit just to, so we can see a little bit more what we have here. All right, so it looks like I have everything for the motorcycle chassis except for the skills. And like I said, you just have to go searching for them. I'm just gonna grab one of each. And then we'll just use these up. This one, use the motorcycle handlebar. Now I can be able to do both of them. And it looks like I have everything for the chassis, so we'll just craft that up. Takes two and a half minutes. And I'll just get the rest of the stuff for this. And now the handlebars. And craft. So that one takes two and a half minutes as well. But at some point soon, we'll have that motorcycle. Okay, that's gonna do it for us. Over here then, we just take these over here. Now we don't really need anything uh, that's left over, so we just gather everything right into the center here. Not that you need to. <laughs> it's not like there's a crafting grid or anything. Um, but yeah, essentially, I don't know, you could think of a motorbike like that, or maybe like that, whatever. Um, and I think that means that we can uh, craft this thing. It doesn't require anything extra like the normal bike. So from here, you just hit craft, and it's another two and a half minutes. Okay, so it's done. So you take it, put it in your inventory, and then you just place it down on the ground, wherever you would like. Boop, with a little uh, right click. And uh, yeah, now we can just use it exactly like I showed you in the first part of the video. Other than the fact that you need to put gas, because <laughs> right now, you're not going very far very fast. So, refuel, hop on, and drive off into the sunset. So if you enjoyed that video, hit the like button and share with some friends. If you are new to the channel and want to learn more about 7 Days to Die, hit the subscribe button. And I will see you in another video. Bye bye.